also that makes it um, equally accessible by all staff that work with Kellyanne House. So they don't necessarily have to be at one particular computer to get specific files. We can do it. It's in a, it's a cloud-based system. So um, Ben would have access to files. I have access to files. The uh, new Kellyanne House manager would have access to files. You know, so it's not just stuck in one location. Um, and we also, the other exciting part that, that I appreciate it's more for our staff, is that we have a Callahan House calendar. So now, um, something that when Ben was looking at um, doing some things here, which we'll talk about later, he's able to look at the calendar and see it's okay to do it on this day because there's things not happening or are happening. So um, we're just really appreciating that internal workflow and uh, it is a transition for um, Betsy and Jacqueline, you know, because the rest of the city did this transition a few years ago with a lot of kicking and screaming. And so um, I can be very sympathetic to, to where they're at right now because it's a different, it is different. Um, but it's, it's working very well and I'm just really pleased with, with how they're doing with that. So, um, anyway, I'm just excited to have a, one email. You know, can I ask you what that email is? Callahan at longmontcolorado.gov. And Longmont, Colorado is all spelled out, slammed together, like uh, Ben's email at the top of the board meeting. Oh, can we look at that? Okay, true. Yep. Okay. And that's the email we'll use from now on, then, if we want to get a hold of you or? Right. The house, yeah, okay. in general. So we'll be transitioning to that with the boards and, or excuse me, not the boards, the groups, inquiries. Um, if someone calls and leaves a message on the phone, an email is sent with that voice message to Callahan at longmontcolorado.gov. So it just makes us be more able to be more responsive without. Um, so who all has <coughs> access to this email then? With them, is it you and Ben and Jacqueline and, and Betsy? Betsy. Oh, Betsy, yeah. yes. Betsy. If you want to get a hold of one of us, just. Yeah, on. okay. Well, we know that if we send an email, the group of four people will see it. Okay. I can guarantee it. Quick question. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Is that calendar going to be shared with us because we can put it up directly on our calendars? Is that something that we can do? I don't know on that one. Um, I'll have to check. Not that we could, you know, change it or anything, but if if we're included on the calendar, then we can update our own calendars quickly on our phones and know when our um, dates are, are set for, like, Art Walk or other events or anything like that or... Yeah. Okay. Um, we can look at that now. I I don't know, and I'll be honest. I'm not sure if this is a calendar yet that we would have out beyond beyond an internal one. I don't know, but I think it's a really good question. Um, I don't see. I mean, I don't see a reason we couldn't have yeah. you know construction stuff on there and th things like that where you guys could see it. Yeah. I, mean, I think it sounds like a good idea, but I think let her and I vet that out. Okay. At the very yeah. least, if we could have access to see it, just look. Yeah. 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 No, I, don't get it. Right. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Let's think about it a little bit. Okay. Well, all this stuff. Well, I know in the past, that. our meetings have always been like RSVP for all the meetings and whatever else, and they just come in and we can then hit it and it goes on our calendar on our phones and it's gotcha. all good. For the um, meetings? Meetings, anything. For for any of the extra... It means, uh -oh. um meeting our presence or attention? Yeah, um, um, such as um, working on projects or um, decorating for Christmas or um, yeah, yeah. Any, any of that yeah. kind of stuff. We can, if I understand you correctly, you're saying like if I... In the guise of Callahan at LamaColorado.gov, invite the board to meetings, yeah. such as our regular board meetings, right. invite it to the scheduled activities that you guys have decided upon, then we can send those invites out to you and then they'll upload to your calendar. Is that's, that what you're that's what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I cool. apologize. No, no, that's I'm okay. Clear, no. But that's that I was thinking, is this all gonna be incorporated within that calendar? We can do that. Okay. Right. Works for the trash for for and so I know when know, it's huh? no need for us to know when the closer <laughs> meeting or no. somebody's scheduled a memorial service. So right. no, we no, don't no. need to know that. Yeah. No, no. But that and that's where I'm wondering how deep are this calendar will go. Right. I think it's a Let's, meeting invite from the calendar. Okay. The calendar yeah. hand calendar. That makes more sense. That's exactly what I'm, I'm well, saying. Well, it seems like even if it's something that doesn't involve us that we don't have to do. 
Um, we want to know what things are happening when, if we're planning. That's true. That's true. To, to add events. visibility to it. Yes. But I don't know if I want that all popping up on my personal no. account. Yeah. Oh, you okay. could go look at it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look at look at it. That, right. that would be good. I, can, I didn't do that. <clears throat> I don't know about that. Okay. Well, as far as that, though, can we access it to look at it? We'll, that's we'll a, check on that's that. That's for you. Okay. That's a, yeah. Okay. That's because, like, construction kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is starting. That's and and I'm expect. sorry to muddy the waters. I tend to. I don't need to. Well, it's these are muddy waters, and it's, we're, we're figuring waters. stuff out. So yeah. that, that's and I, I think it's a good idea. I think yeah. it's an excellent idea. Thank you, yeah, Matt. I agree. Um, so, moving forward, we are. Uh, reviewing job description right now. We have several things going on uh, in recreation right now. Um, well, lots of things, uh, including the feasibility study and master plan, uh, which are going to be an extremely tight timeline for the feasibility study that I am literally after this meeting calling <laughs> the, the consultant to set our first meeting and needing to hit the ground very fast running um, to have this done by June so that we can hand it to city council to be prepared for the, this bond that's planned for them next November. Um, so that that's gonna be a lot of need and recreation in the next couple months. And at the same time, we are, well, I have to find what we're doing with my previous position. So we're, we're having discussions about that. Um, we are in interviews for a therapeutic recreation person which is a combination between us and senior services. Very excited, very, very <laughs> past due for the city to have a therapeutic recreation person finally. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So I have been, I'm proud of that because I've been fighting for that since the day I moved over to the Memorial Building. Um, so we're super excited. We've got some good candidates for that. Um, and this position, so we are reviewing job description and we would look to post it as soon as we can um, and have it out for a few weeks and then start the process of doing of hiring and we'll do that as quickly as we can. I mean I think our goal would be to have somebody here uh, you know before before summertime for sure. Um, sometimes yeah. the speed of the city is speeding. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> but it, it, we've got the pieces in place to be able to put these in, put this forward, um, get things going. Um, I don't know if we have it as another ticket item. Yeah, we do, I guess, with talking about the product. Um, well, I guess linked with this, we are pulling back right now. Um, we Obviously, we don't have a house manager's report. I beg your grace on that for a bit here. Um, we have the information, so we'll we'll be able to re up. I can't tell you it's going to be in the exact form we've had. Um, we're going to be looking at some adjustments. We'll be talking with you guys about that. Um, Kathy took great data. She mm -hmm. she took great data. So so all of our all of that stuff is is in place, um, and everything looks good. We don't have any. There's no issues here right now to worry about. Um, but we want to you know be able to continue to provide you guys with good information. And look to do that as quickly as possible. I cannot guarantee we'll have that by April, but um, I, you know, by by May, I certainly would like to see us being able to update, update you guys better than we than we are right this minute. Um, what am I missing? Um, oh, and so some of the things we've kind of taken a break on new reservations right now. We're we're, for, we're reviewing yeah. any new reservations for here. We're looking at very cautiously, both from the stat staffing aspect, and we'll talk a little bit about um, the grant, or rather the grant, and a building aspect. So this is just gonna be one of these years where we've gotta be super cautious with this stuff. Um, and it, once we get somebody, it's not like, you know. Yeah, exactly. It, it's gonna, that's gonna take it's some time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we try to be respectful that um, weddings are a big deal. Oh yeah. yeah. And that if, um, and as we're, we're just trying to keep it to small things, like a business meeting, like, okay, we, yeah. can, we can work with a business meeting, yeah. or like a, a request for two weeks from now. We, we're feeling pretty good about that. Right. But the things that are huge and months in advance, we want this day at this time, we're like, 
we've pulled off two of our advertising deals yeah. right now, um, which we can certainly be up whenever we choose to. If we, Is that if we need to. the wedding at Wire and Denial? We're not. We've pulled off those for the moment. Um, it's just not, we don't need to fill our docket right now, which was always the plan. I mean, it's kind of always, I don't, I don't know that necessarily pulling off those was the plan right then, but it it's, makes sense right now as we, as we get this new person going. Um, you know, we're, I always look at opportunity and we're, we're, whenever somebody leaves, we, we look at opportunity. How can we make adjustments? Is the job fit exactly right? Um, all of those things, it's an opportunity and we're excited. We're excited. I mean, the, the stuff Sue Ellen's doing behind the scenes and nuts and bolts really gets this place up to speed with other things we're doing in the city. That makes sense. So, um, yeah, that's what I've got. Does anybody have any questions that I can, that I can't answer? <laughs> well, I'm just wondering about weddings already scheduled. Can you kind of just run down? Prioritize. Right. You know, prioritize. They, they're gratefully lumped. Um, in the sense that uh, we, we do have a wedding this month, um, that'll be in a few weeks, and um, we have some in June and July, but we've had a nice kind of long gap from late July to early September with nothing currently scheduled. And we're kind of trying to like keep that <laughs> reserved uh, for the moment for some different things. Right. You know, we to see that. But, um, we're, we're not thinking that we're going to have that gap anyway with the, with the grant. That we we're going to be working. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we were, I, we were always, we have always been discussing that we need to be pretty cautious about the reservations we need to take. But the ones we currently have, we're certainly prioritizing, making sure. Like we said, you can't. We can adjust a business meeting, but a wedding, we know what that means. Right. Um, that they need to happen. They need to come off. Yeah, they planned it. Right. And we've made commitment to them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We just. Have. Just surviving that as of recently, yes, <laughs> I, I can say it is a big deal. The overs aren't right, right, right. Yeah. 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 I get it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, any other questions? Any, any other stuff directly? No, I, other than thank you both for all the after store work that you're putting in, and, and okay. thank you, so Ellen, for, for getting <laughs> doing all the behind stuff. Great. It's exciting. Yeah. I mean, change, change is exciting. Uh, we're good at change and recreation. It's something that it's kind of our our nature, and we don't get terribly set in our ways. Um, we're always looking at whatever the next thing is and, and trying to make sure we're optimizing what we've got. And I'm very excited about this year. I am a new job and all that, and we're you know, we're hoping that we do a big vote in December and. Rec Center in a couple years here, which will be plus, wow. there's plus, plus, plus. That's I'm talking about my piece, but there's, there's a lot to that, as anybody who's read the, read the articles about it know. Um, or done the survey. Who's done the survey? It's a, it was quite the survey. <laughs> I'll tell you, Park and Rec Board was not terribly fond of it, but we didn't <laughs> it's not like we're saying you have to do it behind the scenes. Yeah. Right, yeah. You gotta get one vote. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So that that's what we got. Yeah. Business? Yeah. Okay, that was kind of a bombshell, but that was. Thank you. Okay. So now we'll scoot back up for old business. Which yeah. Is leads perfectly to this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so, unfortunately, right this minute, we still can't really comment because we do not have a contract. So that's, um, we had hoped to, we should have, um, and I can't comment as to why. Um, I can just tell you guys that we're kind of frustrated right now, but we have some movement. We're not, we're not in, we don't feel like we're in a bad place. Um, sometimes these things just take longer than we would like them to. And um, that's seeming to be the case right now. So. <sighs> I wish I could tell you guys more, but I am optimistic. We had some news this morning, um, and we'll get. I hope. I hope very much that we have a contract by the time we meet again, and we will be able. We will have hopefully had meetings where we are talking timelines, and we can tell you guys about those and the plans. Um, so, 
I know that's frustrating. I wish I could say more. You're, you know, this close. Okay. It should have been done by now. And it's not, it's not anybody in the city's fault, including, including Kathy. This is, this is entirely external. Um, but we're, again, we're managing that. So I'm sorry, bring me up to speed. You're talking about a contract. Contract between for the, between a contractor and our the city action. to do the work. Okay. Um, and linked to that, did I have anything on the curb on here? Because it's underneath. It's underneath. It's, it's okay. Okay. And then I will wait till then. Any other questions on the? I can what I can and can't answer. And <laughs> I'm, can't answer. I'm, a very, I'm a very open person, so all knows that I'm. I tell her almost every secret, but you know yeah. this one I. So and, um, and we're on camera. So. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I, not to tell you any of her family secrets, but she'll let everybody know that. Yeah, that's kind of why I'll I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll go that far. There you go. <laughs> so just because based on the other business, and we know the summer is kind of open, you know, we're looking things, um, do, you, yeah, do you have pretty good optimism that maybe some of these projects can be started during that select slack period? Mm -hmm. Yay. That that is it's yeah. certainly our plan. It's certainly our that's plan. been the long term goal. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Um, moving along, um, the Callahan House Advisory Board annual report to the city. I'm not sure who is your I, I brought copies because okay. I uh, you know I just I thought about it. I just thought well let me be prepared in case because. Um, so, but I, oh, let me see what. Well, I, I already uh, have one. I can go over Because I have right. yeah. seven yeah. copies, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. All right, I think we're okay. And just one more thing. Okay. Okay. So just to clarify, this is the report that's done every year. Correct. Yes. And it is the whose responsibility to file it? The to prepare it. Chair? To, to prepare it, um, the board, well, the chairperson and board members prepare it along with the house managers details from the house managers reports yeah. and any other um, information that we would need to ask of the house manager that would be included um, and then the board reviews the draft and that's what we're doing and that's what we're doing and then once it's approved by the board um, the chairperson signs it and um, the house manager the chairperson for, for those but, years. Uh, yeah, for those years. And the house manager can only sign it, but this, the staff is up to sign it. Um, and then it's submitted to the city, the city clerk and goes through the process as mm -hmm. the current oh, mayor Peck explained okay. in the last meeting. The only things that I was waiting on were the numbers. I had, I had emailed. Uh, Kathy about asking these numbers and we copied Karen and Maureen on that email as well because the three of us worked on it and finalized it. It's because but I don't I don't have those numbers so that's why you have question marks and highlights in this um, usage chart. We're missing a few details. We are missing a few details and the bottom line is the reason why we did it this way is because it's it's the chair for those years that is being submitted and we're submitting for the years in which I was chair, and then the years, yeah. the Annie you would go forward and, and do orders for this year following. Well, the reason the person who is currently at Stoges is like next year at this time, I won't be on the board anymore. So the current right. chairman of that next year will be signing it, and it should always be this well, that may be the case for next year for this year and yeah. next year, I guess, but for uh, for the last three years, and since she's yeah, but still that member then that she she was the chairperson for those years and those those years are what we're reporting on. But if it's a yearly report, the person it should be except it yeah, should be, it should be except exactly you weren't aware of the way. It, 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 oh, it shouldn't be. It, yeah. It, you it, do your report. And ideally, yeah. yeah. But I mean next year at this time if it, I won't be here to sign it. Well, ideally in our bylaws we have that um so that's I'm saying the current people in okay. So for this year. For 2023, let, let's be clear. For 2023, in our bylaws, we have that we're supposed to have 
our annual report done in no, for the November board meeting so that the board members can review it in November and then present it to the clerk and then hopefully in December is when the chairperson would be able, well, not only in November, be able to sign um, the report, but hopefully in December, if city council has room on their agenda to allow us to present at that time, then the chairperson would be presenting the, the report that was submitted through the clerk's office. Does that make sense? If no. anything, <laughs> it's, 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 it's exceedingly late. Is the, is, is the problem. Yeah. So you would still be you would the still chair when it's time to sign it. For 2023. It's not just yeah. before December. Yeah. 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 That's, that's why I have that way. So the intention is to be by the close of the year that you're reporting on. So it if just anything happened with this one, this we need to we way. need to jump on getting the next one done, if, it, if anything. I mean, this is. Well, we, we, we will. Start. I think I think June will probably be a good time to have that on the agenda, just in case you want to make a note of, of putting that on the agenda for June. That um, begin to be prepare. Well, yearly reports very seldom are completed in a year of the exactly. They're always yes, yeah, they're always, over a couple yeah. months. So that's something you should plan on. Yeah, you don't have the data. Yeah, so you start year until it's, the, it's that's the next year. Yeah, normal that's business true. procedure to have last year's report next year. That's really why this kind of got cute. Yeah, and so I think we should plan it. It's always going to be the final one will be in January or February of mm -hmm. the following year. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have to vote to change that in the bylaws. Yeah. Yes. So we need to discuss. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. should be yeah. Okay. But um, I also brought with me the um, attachments so that are referred to in here. I do have seven of them, so I think we pass them along and share them. Is it just one? Just one, yeah. It's a one. Uh, as you'll look through this report, you'll see the first um, document that is uh, in 2022 listing is the historic Solomon House, uh, a piece of Longmont's history. Marketing brochure was updated. See attached. That is what this is. It's pink in color. Uh, uh, you might remember, Karen, you may remember. It's it's, it's a pink color. Mm -hmm. right. This is the draft that I had, so that's what I printed because I, or it's the final that I had, so that's what I printed, but I don't have the pink one. So I just wanted to make sure everyone had the content. Okay. Um, content. And then also uh, the, the two new it's brochures that were created were the, mm -hmm. the Callahan House self guided tour and the Callahan House Why Historic Restoration and Preservation is Important. Now, um, the prior board members have those already, but I did make copies for um, the Candy and Brittany and Cindy because you were not here last year, so you would not have received any copies. So, and this, to Candy, Brittany, and Cindy, everybody else has the. Yes. So Brittany, yeah. and these are, there are three documents in the way, so Brittany, okay. Cindy, mm -hmm. oops, sorry, oh, and me, and then here's the third, one is coming your way, the restoration, preservation, Brittany, Cindy, are these something you can easily print up? So, do they have, yes, do Ellen has these? Um, the house has okay. them printed for the open house events. They're here. So um, these should now be in the new file system? The, yes, if, so yeah. if they can be added to the new um, Teams mm -hmm. uh, drive, that would be great because that's, that's for everyone. Um, the next thing is the, yeah, the, the room by room docents tour details that, of course, I just handed that document to. So the three documents that were created last year, I just gave to um, Cindy. Brittany. Okay, yeah. so, so that's under the, it's on page two yeah, in the bottom, under 2022, the activities for 2022. So, so you have the overview of recent years and then it goes through the recent years, 2020, okay. 2021, 2022. These were the documents that are referred to that. Yeah, in, in um, 2022. And then also um, in 2022 is a QR 
QR code that was enhanced to include um, the opportunity for visitors to donate. I mean, again, we made seven of those, so everyone, everyone has them, but this is what is um, outside the doors, the external doors, mm -hmm. um, and so that uh, people can, who are visiting the grounds can scan the QR code to get to information about the house, some of the nice. historic information, and also have the opportunity to donate, which Sue Allen added. That's um, all here. Right. One Thank you so that we can receive the donations so that way. Yeah, that's wonderful. So that so is this already up somewhere? It is. Yes. It's yes. outside the front door, it's outside the uh, porch, outside the door on the south. Um, uh, so. And that was good. Mr. Yeah. I bet you do. And then um, the rental rates for events that were increased to be consistent with market rates. It's you see a attached to page document. I made seven uh, copies of that too. So everyone has that. But previous board members last year received this last year. And it's been um, many minutes and Incorporated in many minutes from when yeah. Yeah, that was done. So this would be included in the full report that would be turned in. These would be additional. Yeah. These are attachments to this document. Uh -huh. and, and some of us who are returning have them already. You all don't, but I just wanted to make sure that we mm -hmm. have brought copies so we're going to begin with. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Do you yeah. need one of these? Mm -hmm. no. Okay, oh, is there next room? Do you have one? I've got, I've got one at home. Oh. And, then the last documents that are referred to are the regular maintenance with the house manager and then the that's on the on page four i'm sorry yes on page four under 2020 <coughs> um, it's uh, so regular maintenance now kathy had put together the spreadsheet that included everything all lumped together into one um, I broke it apart and made one for general maintenance. Oh, I'm sorry. I take one past the one. I made seven copies. And then one for restoration and preservation because they are separate lists. This is separate. Um, and, and you'll see that, yes, um, you'll have future projects and then you'll have um, currently uh, in, in progress. So take a look at these. And, and how are they going to be put forward? Are they. Uh, general maintenance first and then yeah because it's okay. just how it's listed in the, sure. the bullet points under the 2023 goals okay it's, um, it just shows a list of and shows to the council the list of you know maintenance things and general maintenance things that are, are being looked at or addressed or coming up to be looked at and addressed perhaps. and then the um, list of future uh, restoration and preservation projects that are being um, that are noted and aware of and we're and are on the um, how how were these lists created? I created these two uh, separate spreadsheets from the one spreadsheet that had everything included in it yeah, that yeah. Kathy had That's pulled what together from what she had created and from the information that we had also okay. contributed. So it was a, we have everybody, the board, and Kathy. brought a whole list of everything that we yeah. thought, and then some of it was redundant, and then others we, we added it to it, and then Kathy took all that information and created a spreadsheet. Yeah. So this, this is the so this is same information, just broken out. Yes. Mm -hmm. the information just broken out, so that general maintenance, which is just regular maintenance, issues are separate from historic restoration and preservation projects, which is part of the plan. So, and then you'll see on the maintenance, um, you can see, I, I just left everything in future maintenance. I don't know what, if anything, is being, um, is in progress right now. And so that might be a question for uh, Jacqueline and uh, uh, Betsy, because they would know what maintenance is, is occurring here at the house. Maybe right. Um, I, no. I don't know. I don't know. That would be us not understanding what's happening. Okay. Well, at least now we're trying to get a replacement tenant into yeah. the house. Into it. <laughs> it's an auto house. Currently, mm -hmm. it got delivered yesterday. Oh, it's an auto house. It's an auto house. It can't fit through the door. That will find. What happened to the new stove that was installed in 2022? 
It was not installed. We have a new stove. It was not installed. Oh, okay. That's assuming you need to change that. Then uh, I'll need to change that because it can be recorded that. But okay, let me change that. Well, it's paid for, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's in our house. It's yes, ours. it's here. So <laughs> it's it's here. Well, we could just say new stove. Yeah, well, it's paid for. It's there. New stove. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say instead of uh, new stove the for the kitchen yeah, quite was right. purchased. Yeah. There you go. Okay. We'll just reword it. Yeah. For the kitchen was purchased. And that was 2020. Mm-hmm. And um, that, that is all of the attachments that I refer to. Um, this is a lot two. of information. I'm not so sure that we were hoping to move forward at the last meeting, but the numbers are where we're being held up. I thought overall, right. looking at this, it was pretty complete. Um, we are just wanting to verify numbers. Um, is there any way that we can get those from you, Simone? And then the sooner we can get this in, the better off we're going to be because it's so late already. Um, anyway, but Karen, myself, and the, uh, the two Karens, the two Karens have been working diligently on this. And um, Karen has helped write everything, and, and the other Karen has done a tremendous amount of research. This is really impressive. And and covering so much territory. Yeah. It's three years of It's three years worth so. because I had no idea that that's what I was supposed to be doing yeah. until I. Well, it, I don't. They've been done since 2016. <laughs> yeah. I can work to. I believe I. I'm not know where those files are. When you sent your original email, I. Mm-hmm. I did know. Okay. Now, now I do know. I, you I dug a new yes. Now you have idea. Yeah, I do know. Um, <laughs> so I can get those to you. I think by the end of the week. Now the process of getting it before the council um, is one that I need to submit for to be on the agenda. Right. Um, do you do you want me to look for? And April is probably the earliest I can get to That's see it. Right. Do you just want me to find the next available? That's, that's that's there. That's fine. I, I think, think so. As, I as, as Mayor Peck explained, I think all that happens is as soon as the request done and you submit it to city clerk, right? Then the, the city clerk gets it to Harold, city manager, and he um, they finalize that way. But then they choose when it's going to be placed. Yeah, then I can fit it in. So, the agenda. okay. So I I can start that ball rolling. Um, get the data to you, yeah, put right. the ball rolling, and then I can amend my submission because they're not looking at things a month ahead of time. Yeah, you know, they're doing it a little bit sooner, and I'll get oh, yeah. the, I'll get the amended one in before they are looking. Okay, at it. perfect. So that way, I can at least get you on the agenda. Yeah. With, with with the correction of the new stove, Wait, I don't know if we're. Uh, is there any other things that anybody has seen? I know this is a real lot. I was going to say, people have not had the opportunity to read through this, and I don't think it's fair to spring it on people to vote on it today. And I might ask if it's okay that we come back to April's meeting and vote on it then. Does that seem like that would be timely enough to launch? How does April's meeting correspond with the city council meeting? I don't Um, think I can get it in before your meeting. No. So I think it makes sense to not try and push this to to have everyone approve this when we can see. To read and digest it. I, was, I thought uh, Suan had said she was going to get it on the city council. It's usually agenda. six weeks out. Okay. When for it's, April. Well, yeah, so the sooner you get yourself moving, and I think we've got time to, to do the approval before April. she would have to submit the yeah. final. Yes. Yes. That's it. So, so I don't need to force approval today. Later April. Right. Yeah, I have later April. Thank you. We can make adjustments <laughs> for before <have, laughs> <laughs> Yes. And any adjustments needed can be then put into the, the, that submittal. Okay, but does it, did I get that right that it's going to be at the, on the April City Council? The, the City Council meet once a month or once a week? Three three times a month. Three, three times, times a month. So sometime in April. It'll, the, be, it'll be one of the later I'll ones. Push, I'll push for sure late we, or okay. early May. Yeah, okay. we want to make sure we, we meet 
So we can read through this before the next. Right. Yes. 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 Great. Yeah. And, then, and, and then if if you see anything, give us a shout out, please. Or that we, we, before we the meeting, yeah, yeah. would be helpful. Yeah, yeah. Before so that we can make the judgments. Before so we can make the okay. judgments. So yeah. All right. Okay. Fair That's enough. a beautiful record. Yeah. Well, thank you, Maureen and Karen Lee. Well, thank you, Karen. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you we got all started, and I'm just looking at this on the phone before the Bingo Award meeting. Yeah, to read through this. I, it yeah, sounds yeah, like if you sooner or later, just and you can say shoot something shoot. beforehand, even. And, so and the email on it to the next meeting. We have a Wait a minute. How does that work? How do we, how do we, do you want us to communicate? Um, I mean, send it. It's going send to, it to to Sue Ellen. And Callahan. Can, do you want that at Callahan, or do you want? Well, send it to the Callahan, the Callahan email, and okay. then we can. So then we can read through it. If we approve him, send him an email. Well, no, we'll no, no, not an it approval. Does. Just if, if you if, if you have any questions or anything. No corrections. Yeah. If you see any corrections or anything yeah. like that, we're not voting on it. So yeah. that that would be so for. Well, two days before and then we'll, we the April meeting, yeah, like we'll a, meeting yeah. a week before the April meeting. Mm -hmm. That would be well, ideal. Is it helpful yeah. if, if it's by a week before the meeting? Because then that way you can make any adjustments. Sure. Sure. So that would be like by yeah, this by April 5th. Is April Let's see. 12th the second Wednesday? Yeah. 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 Can we get a copy then before the meeting? Oh, um, well, any corrections? yeah, that's the whole point. I, okay. I think um, if any we corrections or changes packet. come to me by right. Right. Yeah, the, the Wednesday before our Wednesday meeting, I can make those corrections and, mm -hmm. and changes, okay. and then it can be submitted to be included in the packet that mm -hmm. yeah. okay. goes out. That'd be great. That's and all then, we need. Yeah. And then we'd still have time to, to make any changes. When you send our suggestions to Callahan. Yes. 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 And I'll send those to and then, Karen. And okay, I was going to say, yeah, if you can just... Yeah. yeah, Karen, do you want to be included as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. So Karen, me, the morning, and myself, please. So, okay. Is there any other thing on the report that you want to mention? Any other questions? Thank you. It's going to be wonderful in case any council will enjoy it. I'm very excited. So are we all going to go to that meeting, that city council meeting? We're, we, we're all welcome to <laughs> yes. cheer you guys on. Yes. Well, look, I think everyone everyone who can come should. I think it, it's, yeah. it is a beautiful the, the thing that every lady here gives you time and your efforts and your energy and your expertise and, and that way they see volunteers. And, and they're, yeah, then you will see us. I did, see I, us. I did um, hear from um, the mayor that she's sorry that she couldn't be at the meeting today. It just didn't work with her schedule. Otherwise, so we'll find out later on which um, city council meeting this will be presented at. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is that evening. Exactly. So, great. Yeah. 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 Oh, we're still go. So, is it going to be from four thirty to six thirty? Yeah, six thirty. Okay, so no changes then. Nope. Okay. It's okay. okay. So, are we are we going to be um, here as volunteers to help? I was just. Gonna... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, who will actually be in charge? Will. Jacqueline or Betsy be here too? I will. I will have one that one or both of them scheduled for that. Okay, and then the house members, should we plan on? So that would be up to you guys. Okay. Well, we usually do we come. Usually do. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, and so I think this would be just to continue with that. And um, this is, this now is when, uh, this is when our excuse me just for a second this is when our um, docents guide oh, yeah. becomes very helpful, and I think in April. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. we always kind of split up. Do, do yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody so grabs a room and kind of become an expert on that room. Right. So <laughs> we'll go I, I, I so have another love question. I'm, I'm sure, sure the new it. board members probably yeah. need name tags. Oh, name tags. Good idea. Um, Kathy yeah. used to order those. Oh. 
We have their over in. We do have extras if you don't mind having the wrong name on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I wore a shirt in your I know, I've worn other people's <laughs> time. I have a nice label maker. I can make a label. Anybody, well, we can put it over the other name. Is there a drawer? Is there a drawer? Proper name tags for you. Do you want to do that? Yes. Yeah, let's I mean, they're more to identify us as volunteers. Then nobody really cares what our name is. You know, it's more to identify. Well, yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. Oh, nice. See, so it's got a magnet. Perhaps to Kathy order that here. We should just do the same volunteer. We should just do the same volunteer. Yeah. Uh, so we will we will probably go to the the ones we will change. We will probably not have these. We'll go to the ones that we use at the in our operations, okay. which are not nearly so complicated. There, uh, we can actually make it look the same. Use the picture and stuff and such. Um, and then it's like a clear. We we print it, and then it goes inside of a clear. Oh, so you can Cover. slide a chain inside of it. Essentially, yes. Yeah. yeah. And that way, that way they can, yeah, and they're just like this magnetic. So, um, and not just nearly like so expensive or time consuming. It's really hard to get stuff like this on time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I believe mine was like, what, I remember I was so proud that I had the most expensive one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my. What? Oh, I have no idea. So, it, I, I so have we'll, something. We'll work on that. I have something for a suggestion for content for constant contact for the spring open house. I'm going to hand these that way. And again, take one press on. I'll hand these this way because that way it gets you quicker to them. And then I also made a um, proposed hospice list when form so that we can begin to. Do we um, need a book for this one? Allow people to. I don't know about a book. I, I, I think we can. An e book or something for all this? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's something. Or just that, a clipbook. Uh, uh, maybe just a, a clipboard is fine. And that way we can um, put it on the top and make extra copies or whatever I need. What, for what purpose do you want to do this? Do you remember how we talked about so it? Great. It would be great to have a guest list um, so of anyone who wants to know about future um, events. events. She could be coming. She could be coming. Upcoming events. We talked about doing an email box. So oh, okay. Because people would say, hey, I'd love to know what's coming up. Can you let me know? Yeah, we've had lots nice. of guests. So, ask. And so we thought, look, uh, anyone who wants that, then we can have them get their name, their email address, and their phone number, okay. okay. and then include them on a group email that Sue Ellen would send <laughs> communications to. But we talk about, but it's not something that's forced. It's only if you want to. Yeah, only if they're interested in receiving. And, and again, this is what, the language on here is what I wrote. It just if you would like to receive occasional email messages about upcoming events at the Callahan House, please provide your name, email address, and phone number. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again. So it's it's just this option for people. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's something that the, me, that the city manages with other departments, you know, like something that, do you have like MailChimp or something like that? Or we any use um, Constant Contact is our, yeah. our, okay. our email blast that we use. Um, so there's just not one for the Calvin House? There's not at this time. Um, to create one is, is definitely um, acceptable and doable without a problem. The request that I made of the, of the board, or you make the board, is to provide the content. Gotcha. Um, I make up a lot of things. I think people think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I like playing at school with recreation. She's so honest. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> that was on phone, too. Um, anyway, um, I would prefer to have your knowledge and expertise say exactly what you would like it to say. Sure. So that, um, and how often would we want Right to now, the bar is low, it's zero. <laughs> so wherever you want to go yeah. from there is up to you. <laughs> so would this kind of look like the the golf course last? Can we yeah, I'm starting to get those <clears throat> as far as emails are concerned. It's coming through a, a Facebook or is that how? Well, more of what we do. We, we do weekly on constant contact. Oh. So that's what we do in recreation. Every Thursday. Golf course. I would think you guys. I mean. I, w I don't know that you guys want to do a regular thing. I think mm. more no. related to just a, just X or Y upcoming. Yeah. Right. yeah, that way it grabs people's attention, right. in my opinion. Yeah. 
Exactly. Yes. Otherwise, it just yes. becomes it blank. Rock. Exactly. Yeah. Art walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. art walk, the open and, house. And right. The exactly. Christmas. Absolutely. Yeah. Christmas open house. I was just curious if that would be the same type of. Yeah, and then the yeah, format would, would put it in something similar, you know, some kind of similar, but it's only yeah. its own yeah. shtick. So. But, but it's only like four or five yeah. Yeah. Not, right. not, not a weekly thing. No, no throughout the year, just yeah. as some things come up. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get this? Can you email me? Yes, this I can email you the, the, the soft copy. Yes. I just wanted everyone to have the opportunity to read this and see if it was acceptable. Yes, to separate the like word again. So if we know somebody who may not be or would like to be on it, can we just submit their ad? You know? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. um, that way they get it as well. Like sure. See, that's how I was made up for the register. <laughs> yes. What are we owe you for the ring of paper that you <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is just I don't need this. This is just trying to support the house. I, I'm very excited and I like the wording on the on the constant. Yeah, and again, thank you for doing all this. Yes. This, this is it's not much appreciated. Yeah. Yep. Detail, detail, detail. Yep. And I got super excited about Anne's idea. Uh -oh. And so I thought, well, I'm going to go online and see what I can find. Oh, you got one. I oh, found a bigger box. Hi. Yes. Oh. Oh. My donation box. It's not enough. It's a lot. Okay. I haven't opened it or anything like that, but the keys are in there. And I think that's a nice. Size. I think it is. It's from the company. Uh, my charity boxes. I think it's the same box that I didn't get a like close up look at the box that we currently have. The little it's box. very similar. Okay, but it has um, a, uh, a slit at the top. The lock is here, and this back piece. Which I'm going to go ahead and unwrap now just so that we can oh, look yeah, at it. But is a display holder and also the back side that locks oh, that's um, so the. the oh, that's great. Uh, oh, okay. that's so cool. So basically, this is a fun little goodie. But, um, so, depending on how you want to slide it, if you don't want to put an, a, a thing in, you can put it up against the table and have it hold it in place, or you can put a. Uh, uh, that's is there so cool. a way to fasten it to something? All right, so the back is kept open, oh, open until you slide this piece uh, in. So depending and on how you slide it, it could either be on the bottom and uh, hold it up against no, the No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't no? think so. See, this is a, Oh, I get it. Never mind. Yeah, this is mm, the right orientation. Yeah, moving out of the way so you can see. I apologize. It just You're slides right down there, and then the lug gets through the little tabby in the back of the oh, side. Nice. And this would hold any display thing. This kind of it's size a yeah. display yeah. of information if you'd like to donate to mm -hmm. the restoration and preservation can, of Gallivan. We can also put the QR code That's on this right. in case people don't have cash yes. because people like my daughter never carry cash, no. but they will that do the QR generation code. Generation doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, cash. Which I don't want a piece of paper under here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to tape it. I, I think a simple little piece of yeah. uh, um, uh, like painter's tape or something. Yeah, something can but this it. isn't obnoxious or anything. It's right? 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 No, it's, it's, no, because the other ones we looked at were like, Give me, give yeah. me. <laughs> and, and it's not too small, so yeah. so people can't pluck something out of it, right? Well, like right. the Christmas where the little there. girl yeah. helped herself to a fire. Put it in her pocket, but, was out the door. But I think it's just big enough to potentially you can set it on the table in the front. And I think the biggest concern was that it needed to be attended. So, so someone would be at the front in the front room, anyone, anyway. And so it would be kind of standing nearby. Mm -hmm. That's great. I love it. Very nice, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, so now we have it ready for the next. Yeah, we're right on top of things. You just got just thinking about it. Yeah. Maybe some artistic person can make a pretty plaque. Well, we can use the um, the gate. I like oh, that. Yeah, you know, I like that idea. Yeah. Um, like we did on the. Yes. I'll, I'll show you in a little. It kind of winds into this, but let me just show you. We can use this gate image that. 
that we have. Yeah, we use that pretty much. Yeah, yes. nice. it's kind of our signature. Yeah, we use yeah. the gate image and then put this on the nice yeah. QR yeah. Code language, yeah. the QR code, and then and the letters donations. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's nicely, nicely done, done here. Thank yes. you. Yes. But um, anyway, I think it's it's exciting because now we can you. keep moving forward with the direction of things. Donations yeah, nice. when people are here because they, they do ask, and it's nice that we'll have uh, a little bit. So I'm going to set it right back in here for now. And does the Callahan House guest list go into some kind of nice book? I mean, is this in a book that's, or something? That's what I was going to ask. She said clipboard, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I start, start there and then decide if it's glossy. It'd be nice if it was very nice. nice. We're not losing names. Yes. Yeah. So, well, and it would be saying, it's actually bigger. And I'm like, oh, let me like make this. this something bigger. Uh, something a little so, more an old guest book. elegant. Like an old guest book. Yeah. Those are hard to find. Um, yeah. And that was like, oh, let me find one in size. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, um, my brother in law just passed away a week ago. And right. I know that I was um, looking really hard for a guest and they're hard to come up with yeah. so that aren't wedding oriented mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. do we want if people look around and take a picture yeah. of something you see and maybe at the next meeting we can compare yeah. notes and yeah. decide yeah. like because yeah. amazon might have some or some of the milk michaels or something like that i don't know right. anywhere anywhere you look amazon is not a big my go-to <laughs> we'll figure it out that's where I ordered it. Yeah, that, yeah <laughs> sort of my go to place in the morning. Charity boxes and that's where so yeah, keep your eyes out and take a picture of the tree. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. I had another one. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't you get those? But if we could find one that we could add paper and remove paper from it. Yeah. Oh, it has to be. Um, so maybe if somebody had in their possession like a, a really antique. Uh, that they yeah. really want the yeah. insights that they just want, you know. But I'm like, I have one, but I kind of want what's inside of it. So. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm familiar with um, it's well, this is a proprietor, it's like Levenger, but the idea is um, something that's not scribbled on or <laughs> um, and it would be some that's exactly like what this. Yeah. That's pretty, and then you just take it out oh, and okay. you're done, and you can put more. I like that. I like that idea. Um, it's a good. Okay, that's that could be a requirement. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but then that could, could make it easier for um, to add pages and take pages out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So um, that's perfect. does that have a name? Does that have a, a type, a style type that that can find does that? it hold a pen too? It can. It's a lavender. Oh. I'm, I don't get curious, yeah, but I, I, do, <laughs> I, do, I do like these. Everybody in the office knows. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's that called? Where Those that are different. perfect. Yeah. Levenger is really the nice. time. Well, that's the brand. I just have the style here. It's not it's like, not yeah. It's not as three ringy. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's like that concept. Okay. It's a oh, three ringy. Oh. Yes. And they just, they just came. I just got 30% off um, this month. So, um, that's nice. Yeah, I was going to buy some various. Yeah, we're going to have to request I'll just Google it. The city for sure. Yeah. yeah. Just <laughs> things, right? But you can also buy similar things at um, Staples and at Office Max. Right. It, it's just that um, it's the disc format. Yeah. So this is perfect. So this is exactly what we need. We have the punch in the office. For the yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So we could then print it and you've got the punches. And yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you, Sue. That's, that's great. You're welcome to, to keep that one. Do you mind? No, please do. I know people that need it. Oh, you do. And it's not. I don't like one because I think I need three more at this right. point. <laughs> I'll talk to you. Okay. And then I need somebody to go through all my stuff. <laughs> Okay, so um, I think we've covered the annual report and a few other things. That's okay. We like sneaking in once again. April 26th, open house. We've talked about that. Um, the tea. The May, usually in May, we have a tea for new and old and former, <coughs> not old, new and former board members. Um, 
this year, again, I'm going to just throw it out there with the changes and the, do we feel able to have that or should we postpone it for a few months until things settle? I mean, that one's kind of labor intensive on the house manager. Yes. Um, it doesn't have to be actually. The first one we did was a little bit more simple and it can be. Okay. I just, I'm throwing it out there for talk. Um, um, can you let's let's my recommendation would be that let's talk about this in, in depth next month. We can put that okay. together in a month, okay. I think, and, and do that. I, I think we should be trying to do it, but um, let's see where we're at. We, we got Jacqueline and Betsy are great and um, totally capable of doing some stuff on this. Um, so. Jacqueline pretty much did it. We did yeah. the invitations and yeah. everything. Um, I don't think it should be an issue. It's not, I, a, I it's not a large production. Yeah. And we know numbers in advance. We're, it's not like we're doing, um, you know, having a live jazz band or, or you know. We're not. You know, <laughs> no. Can you so, just fill in a newcomer? Like what it you is? You might have explained this, but I don't remember. Yeah. What, what it is is, is, is in Eugene May. Yes. Yeah, we have a, this is a, it's a brunch. It's, sun, it's on a Sunday and we have a brunch and it, all the current members and former members that you guys can find are invited. invited. Yeah, so, so it's a pleasant after about yes. two hours. Okay. It's, it's, it's just a tea. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah and there's yeah, it's not a, it's yeah. not a brunch, it's a tea, which yes. is... We yes. have yes. some finger foods and yes. some elaborate yes. yeah, tea much. and then we just visit with all the four, the past board members. Mm -hmm. okay. And the, no, the mayor was invited yes. to yes. 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 And and city council. council members. Members. Yeah. yeah, so we try to, yeah, it helps us to make some, get some visibility. Is there a tentative date that you used in the past for that event? Yes. Wasn't it like not a tentative date, but May 1st was last year, and the, the yeah, prior Friday. was, um, I think it was April. Um, Wasn't Sunday. it always on a Sunday? Yeah, we always do it, it on a Sunday. 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 So it doesn't it doesn't in, impose on any other functions that we could be having. And there's no football, <laughs> right? Uh, so we just we did it last year. Is that right? Yes. I'm wondering if it just throw this out if, if it gets if it would get old if we did it every year, and, you and know, whether it would be good to wait until some of the renovations were done um, and then make it a bigger deal and then the the pictures of things that we're putting upstairs and some oh, yeah, are completed. Like I that. like that. Or the, I like that. The house manager picture. Yes. Because yeah. we're kind of kind of in limbo at the moment. We are. So maybe it would be better to skip the year and then next year we do it upright and we have all these other things to show off. Some things to show off. Yeah. That's, that, like that's that. a good point. It doesn't show off for you. I like it. Actually, we don't necessarily have to skip the year because we don't have to have it in the spring. It was only last year that we had it May 1st. The, the, the prior time that we did this was November 3rd, 2019. Yeah, well, but it could and so be a different date. Fall date. Mm -hmm. yeah. And by that time, right in November, somewhere, <laughs> we'll be moving on. So I think it is. I think it's worth looking at doing in the fall and potentially in November. This and then you have time to think about whether to actually do it based on how the renovations right, exactly. are Yes, and as things are coming along, we'll know, are we well yeah. enough along that we can do this and be able to Well, I, I think that I, I like the idea of making sure that it's an annual fee, that that's what we're looking yeah. to do, the annual board fee. Whether we move it to November or not, I think it's fine. I think the reason why we considered moving it to the spring is because the gardens look better. Sure. Yeah. But, but that being said, That's we're going out there. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, oh, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't go out there. But, and so it doesn't have to so be. So the date can be. Yeah, it can be a fall date. And I think we should table that for, uh, for fall. Put it into future agenda items. Yeah. Perhaps. And we yeah. also want to pick a date that we are not interfering with the revenue. Right. Um, yeah. I, I do like yeah. the idea of doing keeping Sunday, it on Sunday, yeah, so we're not kind of, we're not impeding. And they have that new person in place, mm -hmm. and yeah, all yeah, so that yeah. looks really, really nice for them too. Right. So yeah. we'll, just, yeah. we'll look at a future fall yeah. event. Yeah. I mean, we can do anything from yeah. September, October, November. Yeah. You know. Okay, so I'll make a motion. I move that we uh, table this uh, the tea discussion and put it into future agenda items. 
choice because it, while it doesn't take much to put together um, the labels and, and or to you know to write out the envelopes and, and but it would be best and this was feedback from um, prior board members if we could give them more notice mm -hmm. um, we gave them I think a month's notice uh, for the May and, and several so ladies who call it and had talked with me and said oh, I would love to be there but they have another and if I'd only known, I would have saved that date. And so I think giving people more notice is going to be important. And you should know, not only you will know exactly kind of where our time should be. Right. Yeah. So, so we're looking at discussing that in the June. 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 Yes, please. Okay. So I guess, let's see, I'm trying to follow this right. I believe our next step is new business. And it um, looks like we've already touched on it, but Ben, any more on the oven? Um, yeah, so so oven was in, it was being stored by Golden Van Lines. Um, it was delivered yesterday. They could not get it through the door. Um, it would be close when we took the door off, but the door, the screws were clearly stripped. So uh, we chose not to not to do that. It's, it's in the auto house, and my plan is to get it Columbine or a company like that to um, take the oven apart a little bit, which it sounds grandiose, but I think it's just taking this front piece off there uh -huh. where the boards are, setting it on top, and it should give us enough room to get through both doors. That's my thought. And so hopefully that will happen soon. Mm -hmm. And um, I've learned a whole lot about <laughs> the alarm panel here at Callahan House. Um, <laughs> well, that yeah. sounds interesting. It was, it was snowing. It was snowing, and I was almost to love them. It was oh, it's um, oh, so it's it. The alarm panel kind of went um, defunct. Okay, they don't do it this way um, that we have at the Callahan House. They stopped doing it that way in 2012. Um, what it is is the alarm panel and the fire are are combined, oh. and fire and safety will take precedence over mm -hmm. over destruction of property. I guess so. Um, the the way that it is recommended beginning in two thousand and thirteen is to have two separate system systems so that oh. they, they don't they don't overwrite each other. They are mm -hmm. independently. Um, Communicating to the appropriate personnel to respond. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, with the historic house and the additional electrical work, mm -hmm. I now know why people didn't do it. They're like, "This uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> works." But we do have a request uh, in to um, facilities um, with with the support of the alarm company that we contract with to to look at modernizing and updating that situation. Um, but it's not a happening next week thing, right. and we'll keep you guys appraised of that. So um, can summarize so the fire alarm and any other alarm? Are fire and burglary are on the same, on the same thing. thing. So um, they can override each other. So what I mean by override is like if we have a burglary alarm, but they start a fire, <laughs> they're yeah, going to both. <laughs> well, we want them both, but the the fire folks are going to come first instead of the it's, yeah, right wow. because. They prioritize based on mm -hmm. safety, mm -hmm. not necessarily what's, what's happening, because it's just an alarm. It doesn't so like diagnose right. things. Um, you might have the wrong people coming to the wrong party, I guess. So the right. firemen and then the police? No, I mean, the or, or just firemen, firemen, period. If both are happening. The fire would be dispatched first. first. So the firemen, the fire people would be here, and if there's a, an alarm, and if there's a police burglary thing happening, you probably want the police here first, like independently. They, they could be walking in their bad situation. But the way it is now, it's combined. It's, yeah, so they both come. But they oh, both, okay. don't both come. Um, it overrides it so that... Well, the, yeah. right now it says... They'll probably both come. Right, right. yeah. Well, right but, now it says it's a it's a, it's a alarm code, like for the door. They're not going to set the fire for the alarm code because it says what it is. Right, yeah. But if the alarm code is triggered, 
and they do that, and then if something starts that would trigger the fire thing. Mm -hmm. It just it just makes yeah. it's just a little muddled. Yeah. yeah. And if one is broken, they're both broken. Oh yeah. yeah. But, you yeah. know, this way they can operate independently. So you need to do that before you put the hit the new range. No. So it has nothing see. to do with the new range. Okay. It's okay. just okay. A, okay. it's just an updating of a, an existing system so that if one system is down, the other one is fully operational instead of could you tell us nice. just a little update? I'm not really, I have very little information on what we have, the burglar alarm and the fire alarm. Are they like each room wired? How, how are we set up here? So they would catch a burglar. Mm -hmm. They're motion censored, a lot of things are motion censored. Mm -hmm. um, door is being opened. Mm -hmm. So the door, the windows, are the windows on? Once they are interior. Okay. Yeah, once yeah. they're interior, they, they movement. So if, if they, for example, if this is somebody came and this curtain moves, it's going to set that the up. motion. Okay, yeah. so you, I see how. Yeah. So and does each room have a motion or just mm -hmm. certain rooms? So. Yep. And then the um, fire is your your typical smoke alarms. And and there's like no that. sprinkler. I can tell. No, there, no, there is no sprinkler. It would be kind of. Oh, that would be. Hey, that's the yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and the motion detectors are very, very sensitive. Yeah. Very sensitive. So now, when somebody comes, when uh, Jacqueline or Betsy come to, you know, set up for a meeting, they flick it off. They, they, they have, have a specific okay. code that will disarm. They have a specific code that will arm. Facilities have their own unique so, code. Uh, you know who's, who's, who's in you know, Yeah, okay. okay. So okay. if somebody had a key, but you know, maybe just came in or picked something up, it would set up a lot. Set up a lot. Okay. Unless they have a code. And those codes change on a frequent basis. So mm -hmm. um, interesting. I yeah. So who actually has access to get into the house? I remember way, way, way back when I first was on the board as chairman, mm -hmm. I had keys. Um, right now, it's the facilities maintenance. They'll do walkthroughs on a regular basis, especially when the weather's really cold, you know, to make sure that the building is, is doing well and the pipes are doing well. So they have access. Our custodial crew has access that is the cleaning in here. Um, Betsy and Jacqueline, as staff members that work here, have codes. Mm -hmm. um, I have codes, and um, that's it. Police will be able to. Police and fire. Yes. Right, right. yeah. There's, I would imagine, there's a fire the keys, yeah. That's the standard, that's city standard. So a fire department would go into there and open up. Instead of breaking doors. Correct. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. That'd be their MO. Because it's usually not fire, it's something else. Right. Have we had any calls? I don't think I'm not aware of any. Besides you. <laughs> not 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 uh not there's hasn't been any real criminal activity. Not a normal response. But with, with the, all the stuff that's happened at the museum and Correct. at the at the church over here. The vandalism to to the windows and stuff like the little white church on mm -hmm. oh, Saint yeah. Stevens. Yeah. Saint Stevens, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, they have they gratefully overlooked this building. That's yes. nice. Okay. Well, um, any other comments on that? Um, moving along, then, uh, Dan, <laughs> you're kind of running this meeting today. Um, curbing project. I was gone, so I'm paying the price. Yep, yep. Yeah, <laughs> you are. Um, so the, here's an interesting one. The the curbing, the the actual curbing onto the street on both sides um, appears to be the same core as the uh, driveway. Oh, yeah. You can you can look at it, and there's a there's a line in it that reflects, and it, 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 the it's the same, same color, so it's the same core as as the the original. The original. So. Wow. They are this year going to do work where am I sitting? The on city third, is. the city. Um, Ariel is her first name. Her last <coughs> name. Um, as a part of a continuous city plan where they replace curbing, they update, they, they fix edges of the road. I know they're, they're plan they were planning on coming to my house next year, but they're actually coming this year because I have grading for them. Um, and so, the question is basically, what is actually, is a curb historic? Is a curb to a city oh, street wow. historic? It's That's really what it comes down to. Yeah. I, My goodness. You know, and, and so I will tell you that it's clear that the last time they paved 
and the last time they did this, when you go past the house, you can see the more traditional where you get the curb and then the, the, the gutter is also concrete. They didn't do that around the house last time. Um, so that's kind of, it, it's really, I'm looking for what your guys' opinion on the curbing itself. I'm not talking about the driveway. Just the curb. The curbing itself. I'd like the, I'd like the curb to stay. I'd if like it's, it to stay. I haven't it's looked at it closely. Original it, as it is. It, what condition is it in? You see it on not the terrible. I mean, it's, it's, and, 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 and if you guys have feedback, I mean, you can, you can just send me an email. Okay. Um, my gen, my general opinion is leave it alone. Yes. That's my general Rope. opinion. Um, it's not crumbling and cracked up. It right. certainly has cracks. It certainly has a few breaks. Clearly where the driveway is, there's work, but that's actually, that section actually right on third is one of the targeted sections um, for this project. So um, if that's your guys' general opinion right now, then that's yeah, what I would I like take to do. Maybe when it's nice, I'll take a walk out there and try to look at it. And I, if you, if it's actually in a nicer uh, condition than the upfront. Yeah, yeah. So. And they're, they'll come around to this one too. But um, and the city at some, they may, they may override that. I don't know. I mean, they could. But yeah. I know. I'm also, I and I also have a request into the historic board. They talked about it and wanted your opinion. I was going to say, when we were working on the grant, um, I don't know if you remember, but I contacted that city in Iowa, and they have the oldest street in the United States, and, oh, I was, wow. and it's cement, and I was asking them how they preserved it, and, but anyway, they um, had, they were going to tear it up, basically, and then somehow word got out that it was over 100 years old, and, and the, there was enough feedback that they chose to save it. And it's very popular because they advertise it now as the oldest right. speeder. We could actually wow. do that. So yeah. The oldest yeah. curb in the city. It turned into a, 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 a thing. Yeah, a thing. Yeah. 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 And so yes. there's something to think of there, you know, because little by little, there won't be any of these exactly. old things anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, we need to save the curb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We it's, have a it sounds silly in its way, but. It, it, it is, is real. It is a part of it. It's yeah. real. I do have a question. It doesn't have any drainage problems, does it? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. That's a good thing to ask. Because if it has no drainage issues and it's not, you know, it's not it's negative. negative. It, it, un unfortunately, like the driveway on the north, it has the water collection, but the curb is southern facing. So it should have that. It's probably why that's in as great a condition as it, it is, is, it is in considering that it occurs on the property. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I would ask is is for a uh, if if the group wants to put a motion forth that we we support leaving the curb in place as a historic item, something along those lines. I move that we do so. <laughs> All, second. All, All second. in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <clears throat> I knew that would be your answer. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, that so, gives me the it's my, more my backing. Yeah. My backing <laughs> as I, as I go to them and yeah, say, support, right? you, you know, can do have, something um, a little different. Here. Stickers make for you. Yes. Chain yourself out to the curb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to the curb. Lie down on the curb. Lie down on the curb. Sit in on the curb. Yeah. Yeah, arms linked on the curb. Okay, thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Appreciate that. Like I said, I knew that's what the answer would be. And, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't see it as being that bad. Now, if it's falling apart, <laughs> yeah, that's you got to have a different <laughs> thought. But it's yeah. right now, it, it's not. Yeah, and if it gets where it's probably maybe we could find a section of it that's real good and save well, the pattern. But after our whole process this year, then I think we, we yeah. look at targeting, you know, the next mm -hmm. process. Yeah. So. One thing the gentleman in Iowa um, told me, though, is that they did an analysis on the con uh, concrete, mm -hmm. and it was much harder than current concrete. Oh, they yeah. Was wow. It's a different oh, composition. Completely different. Wow. So I had, I had asked him if he could send me that, but then I kind of didn't go forward with it because we uh, decided to go with whatever we're going to do here. The contract. You should see the wood in my house that's being remodeled from 1960. 
wow, it's just awesome. That wood is two really by fours. Yay. Really two by fours. Oh, wow. two by fours. They were square and they are like wow. concrete and they are so hard. Plus wow. the analysis and stuff that you get from you know homemade. Yeah, right. yeah. Soft and three and a half inch two by fours. Yeah, just get a decent. It just shows yeah. the, the, the quality yeah. of work that went into mm -hmm. it was to stay and yeah. not be replaced. For a while. Yeah. All right. Well, that was all good input. Um, I think our next one is item eight, future agenda. I'm not sticking in. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> future agenda items. Um, picture project. That was fun. I think we all were there. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. So, um, well. What I learned is to do a five by seven um, mat to include the, the cutout uh, for the photo and the cutout for the naming date of service and photo courtesy of. Um, it's going to be more cost effective to go through Hobby Lobby than Michael's because um, at Hobby Lobby they'll charge $10 to, to cut a custom frame for me, just total. Uh, Michael's, they'll charge me ten dollars for the five by seven frame and five dollars per cut. And mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, and so wow. that's where I'm thinking. Okay, I'm probably going to go to Hobby Lobby to do the There's a shop by the on Main Street though that does framing too. Have you checked? Yes, I that's do pricey. know about them, and mm -hmm. and they do tend to be more pricey. Right. We had a picture done with them, and, and I nice love job. their work. They yeah. really yeah. are, but I do know that they're okay. more pricey. Yeah. And and we never discussed a budget, but I want you to understand something that this was this was my idea and my my push. And so I, I purchased the frames that that we, I mean, what was beautiful is Candy brought a frame that is gonna be perfect for the first three that we don't have photos of. Cindy brought a, a couple of frames that are perfect for two that we don't um, have photos for. And Brittany brought a frame that is perfect uh, for most recent. And the rest of them I went and purchased from Hobby Lobby. This is my gift to the house. Um, the paying for the, the photos to be pr printed by Mike's camera, the, the purchase of those frames, the purchase of the, the mats that go, the, the boards that go inside the frames, and um, that's, that's all my cost because wow. it's my gift to the house. It's, it's what I wanted us to do for, for the history of the house. So please don't think that this is anything to do with the, the Calhoun house. Um, that, or budget. That, that being said, I think this is incredibly generous. I still think that your the amounts in total should be submitted as as a gift, mm -hmm. so we have that. That this is things that have been donated to the house, so we have that for our records for grant purposes and other things that we have oh, yeah. that yeah, submitted but... in that you have done these gifts, and that means each frame that yours and, and Candy's, Candy's and, and everybody Brittany's. else, all right. Brittany's, everything. We, that just, it was so mine was a we all collected. <laughs> but it, yeah. still, it's great. We collected them. They are right. beautiful. They are perfect. <laughs> for, and so I think it's just a, it's just a beautiful. But but the all those little you know group effort. Personally, I don't think it's that much, but but it does all add up. When when you're writing a grant and you're trying to figure out. What who's donated what? It's the little things that add up. I think overall, the the hanging system itself will be less than the photos and the frames of the <laughs> right. course, which right. is fine. But yeah. I uh, but I'm excited about um, I'm excited about the fact that we're going to be able to get this done. Mm -hmm. And it will be so so, that so our our, our big thing is we we need to have somebody hang the hanging. System. That's what's going to be a good question. Yes. Yes. So the last meeting, the, the question was, can we get it hung by our next meeting, which would have been February? Um, we need the but, uh, um, yeah, help on that. We'll, we'll need some help with that. And in that, I would urge and, and suggest actually that um, when that's going to occur, Maureen should probably be present for that because she understands how the hanging system will need some spacers placed off of the wall to hold it out just beyond so it's not the away. current wooden, historic wooden hanging room. It's, so it's, it's my understanding that the system that was sitting on the back porch. I it, it's here. Okay. It's here. So, okay. Um, I, I can't make any promises on timeline for that. For That's sure. okay. Right. Yeah. That's but, okay. but yeah, I know it's there and, uh, and we'll, uh, I, I think having, having me present or at least one of you guys present is 
or, or put that up. We'll be totally, I don't, totally I don't care if it's somebody else that is here. Well, I'm personally, you understand. I I am roped in whether I want to be or not. So, um, the, the thing is, I know you've got a lot on your plate, but mm -hmm. but if we could maybe ask the people to say, everybody's got a ton on their plate. I understand. Yeah, the, the unique things with them can be a challenge to, okay. to get done. I will just say that. Um, I'm not saying it's not doable. I think it is. Um, just be aware. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I jump back um, to the keeping records of the donations? Do we have anything set up to do that? Is there any way we could add it to a spreadsheet here or something? An in kind donation? Thing? dollars? Because it, it would have to be a that's a line on uh, a donation line somewhere. Well, there is a donation line. I something easily to get it because we probably won't do another grant for a couple of years, right? And so we had to be something. I don't know that, about that. Well, well, it's Karen. <laughs> I don't know about that. We had so much fun with the last one. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it, it may be a couple of years before we apply for another one. So it'd be somewhere we can grab that information. I don't know. It would be on the early report. Or, monetary yeah. donations that have already been mm -hmm. submitted. There are be somewhere. Monetary donations are not on. So then it would be going forward. Because we can include it. And I guess when we are reporting on that, we would have to include it. Those in-kind donations can come two ways from internally among us and then also externally from the general public and whichever way the information is shared it's either if it's from the general public it probably would be on a manager's report mm -hmm. and if it's internal then it would be coming from us during the board meeting and then we would need to include okay. that in what the annual report to city council there, would be. there's got to be something because i know that ladies have donated china and mm -hmm. other items yeah, absolutely. and we should have an accounting of that right on what those items are and we should have an accounting of like the donation box that you just did and all of that we should have a way to track it somewhere well so, the best um, the best source of that information that i know of right now is um the scrapbooks because there are um there are notes in there and, and pages in know. there showing past is right trying to get but oh, going forward going I'm forward right. but somebody so we can go through and that was the normal past, um, oh, I we can identify that. past um, in kind donations and, and that way if we want to have a running list then we can we'll do that but then going forward I going guess, forward i'm thinking on the monthly um report that we normally get and then that would be compiled into the year end so we have an easy way to grab it right that's a thought. You know, we, is that something we have? We can just peruse, or do we need to talk? Um, I might suggest, if it's not too much to ask the secretary or and the historian, I guess we can together create um, a list, and and then that that list or that document would be shared with the uh, with Sloan and on that drive. Create a list of. Donations. In kind donations going forward, like going going forward, forward. Oh, going forward. that path yeah. going forward yeah. because because it's my understanding that was all kept track when when the board used to do inventory and the board hasn't done in inventory for years so I don't know well Kathy's done inventory though mm -hmm. Kathy. Kathy and Jacqueline have yeah but Karen you said these in the scrapbooks might have information oh, yes, about donations yes I do know that the scrapbooks contain. Um, have pages where where um, they have the information of this person donated, and, and one was specifically the tea set, for example. Mm -hmm. Others with um, um, tea cups. Mm -hmm. um, that others were other items throughout the house that have been donated, and so I can go back through them and create a historic mm -hmm. list. That would be great. Yeah. Kind of donations. How far back to the scrapbook? Thirty eight. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah. I'm wondering if you. Yeah. I'm wondering if might not have to do that go completely clear back because like I said the board members used to do inventory there's got to be an inventory list somewhere well, while the inventory from. list exists it is not all uh, it does I know that historic inventory lists that are also in the scrapbook um, do list the items but they do not identify on that inventory that donated by oh okay mm -hmm. 
Okay, I apologize. So, I, I, I know but I, enough to I, get me in it's trouble. It's doable. Yeah. I can do this. <laughs> okay. it's so, doable. do we want to? Um, do we want to have this more organized going forward? Though? Yes. 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 So, do we need a motion, or do we need to discuss it more and decide how we like maybe give this to a group to decide how it should look going forward? Would it be an agenda item that someone presents the receipts for the board to to acknowledge the receipt of a donation of an in-kind donation? Then, then everybody would be aware of that donation. Mm -hmm. Dollar yeah. value, or whatever. and then get it slapped on a spreadsheet somewhere. So well, it's going to be in the minutes if you do it that way. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think it's, I like the way Sue Ellen presented it, and then then it's there, and then then hopefully we'll get in. Well, my question is because I don't have we don't know what the books look like, and I know that you you're very to as you dig. I'm sure there's somewhere there's got to be a line on it. I'm look. Okay, and then no. um, <laughs> is it possible to create a spreadsheet it might exist. wherein um, and the secretary maintains that in the shared drive, but but the secretary because it's, things are brought into, in, into the meeting and it's included in minutes, then the secretary can then add that to that list. It's kind of a, it's. I don't it's know, the keeper of records or the house manager. That's the well, secretary is kind of the keeper of records of, of board related records. Because some donations may come in just when the you know when we're not here. Right, yeah. exactly. So some those kind of house we're not even aware of would, would be on I, I would, it would basically be not income but revenue or something yeah, like so that. Yeah, so I'm still thinking I'm the house manager would be. That and that, yeah, and, then, that and then it's just submitted on the house manager. It's it, right? That's okay. what I was thinking. That so, way it'd be easy to get. Okay. So, would there be an opportunity to give a dollar value to each of these in kind items? It seems yeah, like there ought to be. So. Did you say you, you keep talking about grants? Um, is that one of the things that you do in a grant is indicate how, how much has been donated? It was a question on there. Okay. Yeah. How, what kind of um, community support are you receiving? Okay. Yeah. So it, it's so nice to be able so to show that to not only have it. Yes, explaining what the support was and then the value yes. to it was part yeah. of it. Yes. Okay, so. I don't know that you need a motion for, for that. That's, I think we can just uh, this this is just this tell this the new house manager. Yeah, I think it's something that if. If you guys gather up what you know of right now, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we can um, just get it get it to us, and we'll get something started, and then we can put we would put that on because I, I I don't that would be like I think it's a definition of house manager stuff. It's, yeah, it's yeah house, great. That's house business. Right. It's, right. It's, it, it, it's yeah, the bottom line is business. we don't know if it doesn't already exist. Correct. Like, right. Yeah, it might already exist, mm -hmm. but it would be know. a very good for us to be able to access it. You know, in two years from now, we want to see if okay, oh, yeah. the last five yeah, years. It's, it's a really good idea. Yeah, and then we yeah. can just pull it. We it's, don't have to go dig through books. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So let's so back through all the minutes. Let's, like let's, I did. Yeah. Let's yeah. Try yeah. To make so yeah, as long as we can start it on a spreadsheet. Yes. There's one of my cheap. What an interesting thing to, to learn about, you know, who, well, maybe not so much who, but what they what? donated way yeah. back yes. when. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's history. Wow. Yeah, because you got to figure when the Callahans left, they left some furniture here, yeah. but most of this, a lot of this was donated. I mean, this wow. was original, and I know those sofas, those Sofa and right. the chairs, but yeah, it was, um, there was other things so, that were donated. What was the process for accepting donations, verifying you know the time period, and it's or, or they just that's said, an excellent that's question. An excellent question. question. No, it, in the scrapbooks, it's just the board members were just oh, okay. taking that information in because up till 1995, it was the board of directors, and and they ran the house, but. Um, at that point, that and so that's why a lot of it is in the scrapbooks because sure. that's how they yeah. um, documented, documented it and sure. showed, you know, receipt of, of gifts. For the new members, I don't know how much history you got, but the house manager used to be more a housekeeper, and she was she just part time, here. and she lived here if she wanted to. Right. And yeah. she was only paid a stipend; she was mm -hmm. nobody could sell her. Yeah. yeah. She actually made money off the meetings by catering them herself. 
right. So it was, it was different. Wow. But uh, you know, progress. <laughs> right. Your menu now can't do that. So. All right. Um, so the pictures we talked about that present. Past and oh, present sorry. Oh, oh. For the, the picture project, um, I was wondering where we're at with Sylvia. I was going <laughs> to. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I was going to call and then um, Katie provided a number via your sister, I think. And uh, I was about to call and then I was looking at the time for the the ages. It said that she would be 47. I was like, oh, so she was like 19 when she was a manager, maybe not. Not that yeah. it's impossible, but. But that doesn't seem like not. Paula so. was young. Paula was in her 20s when she was young. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, not impossible, but it, it she would have been 19 or 20. Yeah. So I, I haven't know, followed up in. Okay. I mean, I can also just call and listen. It's a strong number. Yeah. 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 Or she could be related person, yeah. potentially. I don't yeah. know. But so I want to give us a call. Yeah, call. yeah. 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 I, I want to let me know. And then I'll try the other um, yeah. the teacher Okay. that I, I know that has the right. same last name. Okay. I want to give well, kudos to our detective it. force that is right. like helping us yeah. Yeah. Yes. discover yeah. um, Dog the Bounty yeah. On a okay. special note, uh, thanks to your sisters, you found Paula. Unfortunately, Paula had passed away. Yeah. So really oh, sad. No. But the it's amazing. She found her, and yeah. you know, I was like, cause she had changed, mar remarried again, oh, so her right. name so had changed. changed. So, uh, she had a more recent yeah. picture. Of, yeah, a much more recent so. picture. Oh, that's, that's great. great. That's so great. Great. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's that's sad. Sad. So sorry, sorry missed that. I know by two years. So, 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 sad. so, so is that going to be included then? The picture. of well, I think that's. I think the picture yeah. of Paula as we chose it. Is right. Yeah, she worked. Oh, oh, that's she one where yeah. she was. Okay. Yeah, the one had that. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it shows her actually at the buffet. Oh, yeah. Is, that's right. Beautiful. So, yeah. which yeah. So the only thing yeah. is, I know she gave that long hair. She, I remember when she got she cut. Beautiful. I know. She was so happy when her hair was short. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So we've talked about past and present. Pictures? Yeah. Um, just brief, briefly. Um, well, we talked about the house manager picture project. Yeah. And now we're on the past and present board members oh. um, wall acknowledgement. Wall. Okay. This is and a so, picture. Project. And if, if this is one thing, I've printed these out so that you can see kind of what they're going to look like. Um, and, and I know that there are four there with me here. Um, and I think in part I can bring, bring it back down to three, but I, I think I need to um, get a legal size with just the red border, so on. So I don't know how to, to get that. So if you could maybe help me with getting just, because the, um, that's the image with um, what was the, the John yeah. Callahan's uh, mm -hmm. stationery. Um, oh. And um, so I start with that, and then I, I begin with the most current um, uh, board members um, years and again remember we we said let's let's set them out by decade which actually turned out to be ideal um, and then um, I went from yeah 2010s to 2000s to um, and then down to um, 1990s but I know that I can get more on a page when I'm able to have a full, full uh, blank with just the red border legal size and then I put the gate on the top so it could be, it'll be kind of more in line with across um, the way where the, the, the mm -hmm. image of the house, or the image of the garden is. And, and kept with that from one page to the next, except for the last page, which has the, the very first board members, the earliest board members on it. And that's where I include the, the beautiful quotes from ladies about volunteerism. And where so, would this go? What would this be? This will be placed in a, it's going to be a probably custom um, frame, frame mm -hmm. so that it can hold um, legal size pages three to maybe four, um, but could easily be taken off the wall as needed and take it back out and update the list and print them out and place them in the frame and go back up on the wall again. Um, and I know I didn't anticipate it being that big. There are 90 women, 90 we women. We wanted to vote through the years. Oh, um, we could take the gate off. Well, I'm thinking, yeah. I think it's what's pretty about what it is. I think what's pretty about the gate is that it ties in. Um, and like again, this is uh, imagine that the, this being more in line with that. I will definitely be able to fill a lot more on the 
on the second half. I think I think we can, I think you're correct. I think and we can get it down, down get it down to pages. three pages, yeah. and then once it's at but three pages visually, if you look at it, it will then eventually. I mean, essentially, look, look like that. Look a little more like. I think yeah. that's I think it's good. Which is pretty because it has the the garden. But the, the, um, gate, but but um, the line would be but it's all, all so each of these would be framed. No, no it would be, all be in frame. one frame. One in one frame. frame. Would, okay. There's openings for each page, but easy to um, interchange and change out. I think this, this page has too much white space. I I can agree with Karen that. I like the gate, but I don't think I, I need it. I like it, but maybe we can make it smaller and put it in Either that or put the picture okay. it's on the... Much. Only reason I did that was yeah. to hold the space because then that kind of kept it... I see. Right across yeah. the board. Across, you know, when you're looking at something that's in a frame and it, and it's all going to be um, kind of mm. in line with... Um, okay, but that being said, yeah. So you'll see, then you kind of see there's this... Common right. theme, but you're going to have to reframe it in a few years. As, I don't know. This no. is months. I was thinking more like a little long. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I, I personally like it. I think I agree with Karen that we could bring the gate smaller, smaller. and as long as the framing of the red line is consistent mm -hmm. with the other. Again, we're talking. Yes. We're going to mount it as well. Um, I think this is good, and what it does is this enables us to, A, we can add more names as need be, yeah. we can change it out. It isn't like we're doing plaques like we <coughs> kind of suggested yeah. because that just it's takes way too many space. And if we do it in a, we, it's open to change. I, I think it's great. And what's interesting too, and it kind of knows the history. You'll, if you look at it more closely, you'll see where there are decades where I have a Mrs. Um, w. Y. Atkinson, for example, and then dot 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 entry. Um, in those times, the women were referred to as their um, husband's wife, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. um, so and the change really occurred in the seventies. So mm -hmm. it, it went all the way up through the sixties and then ended in the seventies. So I think it's quite I also like the volunteer some quotes. What do you guys think? Yes. Yeah. They're special. Even if yeah, the other three of us are, are um, unique. But what do you think, Amy? It will be, it can be reconfigured so there's less white space. I don't know that I had a vision in my head to start with. So. Right. Uh, and yeah. I was thinking just a long list. <laughs> Uh, I assumed it would be something we can adjust more easily, but yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't have yeah. that entry. And I'm afraid if you make it an expensive a big frame all like it. that, yeah, see, I, this is every it it would be be hard to adjust. And well, well, here's a thought. What if we took the quotes and put the quotes up top of the volunteerism, um, and then we, can we I see that? work with that? And then it, would that make it? Figure, let me yeah, you're a little bit more See, because I think because of the, the trickiness of, of I, mean, I only had a, I, I had this in the legal and Kathy only sent me the legal, so if you maybe you could send me the, the but um, I, I could use a legal size just red bordered page so that, and once I reconfigure it, I think you all will like it and, right. and it will be very simple to update. Um, it's and, the, and that's the key. In pages where there's two this columns, this is easy to it's easy. I mean, two columns to a and black. And oh, yeah. Compared to last year. Literally, you open up the box, yeah. you change it out. Yeah. It's yeah. not that hard. It's not. But when you add to this one, the names go down until they go on to that one, and then they, I mean, you end up changing all of them, is the yeah. point. But, but they're in easy. column. Yes. It's it is easy because when you go in and start to add the, the, format, the, the formatting pushes to the And honestly, once the format is saved, yeah, it'd be easy. easy, done. easy. Yeah. Where does this document live at so people can access it? You know, down the road. To Within the city. It would be, yeah. It would be in the city new cloud system. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> but will these be framed or something? Matted or I, I think I don't know about matted. I, I, I definitely know. Matted. I definitely know framed. I don't know about matted because that would make it a little more complicated it's with changed. changing out. So yeah, I'm exactly. thinking framed and. Um, properly placed and there will be a nice 
background to oh, okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing it now. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's hard to envision this, but okay, maybe so that, maybe what I could do is next time bring in uh, aside from just this example, I could you know kind of make and it so we're only changing out sheets. Yeah. I think I like the picture of the original stationery. Yeah, I would. Too. I would kind of get rid of that gate. I just don't think it's it's just too much. I think the gate is important, and the reason is because at a certain point in we use history, it on everything. The well, I know board it's just more space taken up. That's, that's just it can be small. I would think just this is plenty, and then from there it's just it's when it's when going from one page to the next to the next. Though I was just trying to have something that would sort of connect the three pages together. One being the image garden the other being the image of the gate that was created many years ago um, I do like the image of the gate but maybe maybe it can be small it can be I can make that smaller it's easy you just you take the image and just shoot, 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 shoot it down. that's the best compromise I think it's doable. He's going to be upstairs somewhere, not on the wall yeah. with the house manager no, pictures. But we're, we're, we're talking about the different yeah. location. Where, you're yeah. talking about uh, the UV. You, you might put the, the gate yeah. with the coats okay. yeah, on the side of the coats okay. coming okay. out. Yeah. On the side of the gate, that way the gate's exactly. not sitting do middle. That we it takes or up the side and grabs attention to the quotes. Okay. Just a thought. I don't know. I like that. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at formatting that to try and see if that can work. Mm -hmm. The quotes are all great, but I'm not sure you need that many. Um, the only reason I did leave them is because they were the ones that were kept in the um, place cards from the team oh. of last year. And they're special because they're all women, and, with the exception of the author and then the last one. Mm -hmm. And, and these are all special women, so I, I think, you know, Sherry Anderson, Margaret Mead, uh, Elizabeth Andrew, Irma from Mom Beck, Anne Frank, and Maya and Joel. Uh, I, I understand, they're your favorites. Uh, I know, but, they, but they're special because they're women, and, and speaking, and speaking on volunteerism. And I do international think there's a lot to be said. Right. It? Yes. Yes. it is international. Could we have the quotes just in a separate frame? I was just thinking that. that. Yeah, because I think they take up too much space. Well, or maybe they're not nice. just on attention. Yeah, just keep these as a separate. Well, I, can't with the the name. I don't want to keep it separate from the, the names and names. Well, not because it's kind of a, it erases. Um, I think Karen's got a vision. Karen's paying for it. So. <laughs> Karen, yeah. go well, for Karen. it. Karen. If I can work with it a little bit, I want to take all of your feedback and let me yeah. rework some <clears> things <throat> and see if you're happy with that. And then and continue to rework until you're happy. Um, but I do think I think we can find something that's good. That, that, is, that is a thought. What if we downsize this and put it next to That's what Ben was suggesting. Yeah. And oh, so, did I mishear that? I didn't hear that. Because yeah, that's a great suggestion. And so, again, all of this input. Yeah, it's a good what, suggestion. Let me report it. I'm can, sorry I didn't do, do that. Because it's a great suggestion. And, and let me let me try and pull something else okay. together and come up with an answer. I'm going to just say one thing. Yeah. There was a way to take, I don't know, um, if, the, if some of this background could be enlarged and continued, let's say just here, and then this being white over the trees, or I don't know, something so that, or maybe you just have the clouds, you know, if you were in Photoshop and take something to get the clouds, put that over it, and then um, that takes that away, and then maybe you only have three, yeah, I'm just, well, I just well I hear you. It's okay. complicated. You got but there's a brainstorm yeah. here. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I appreciate that white lettering. It's really hard to read. It uses a lot of ink and all that black right there. <laughs> well, and a white would be hard because there's so much detail. Yeah. And the, yeah. the point of that picture in its totality is that it it's was it's historic. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to do anything. So we take one or crop it or take the, the picture. Out. I like yeah. the other. Keep it. Two are I think are overkill. We can like Ben yeah. suggested. I think I'm going to try and take this and put it on here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think it's honestly. So it's, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Thank you for you. all your time. Uh, into it. Yeah. It's beginning to look like too much yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. oh, this is fun, guys. This is fun. This is, this is the fun part of stuff I have to do. You don't know what a lot of great things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> this part is fun. Oh. <laughs> I think it's cool. Anyhow. No, it's you did a good job. It's really yeah. nice, it's, Kara. It's, 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 it's been a simple job. Look at this. It's a mystery for the future.
Okay, um, I'm going to ask that we move Club Affair to next month. Yeah, it, there's a lot of stuff. Future. These yeah. are all for future. future. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just move it forward again another yeah. month. Yeah. Um, review future house restoration and preservation. I think those yeah, are all three. Move forward. It's all moving forward. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. So one thing I want to comment on, um, I'm gonna we're gonna add it to to new business next time. Um, the format of the agenda is funky. Um, always has been to some extent. I'm going to bring something that we use at Park and Rec Advisory Board that I think is a little more fluid, a little more functional. Okay. Don't have to do it, but I want to bring bring it. I'm going to put it as an item okay. and send it out in the packet, and you guys can look at it. You, we can talk about feedback and then maybe make some adjustments. Um, just being at both now, the way that one is formatted, I think it just allows for a little more fluidity and flexibility Great. than this one does. Okay. So. Great. Um, one more future item, and I don't know if this should be on here or not, maybe it's just something the city wants to, is the gardens this year? Mm -hmm. um, uh, it starts. I will, I will ad hoc give you a, a, a minor update. The flowers were ordered. Okay. Um, yeah, Elise, that's what I was, gonna... Elise okay. was involved last year. Mm -hmm. It's a very similar order. Um, we did not get in touch with them fast enough or there was some mis miscommunication as far as our involvement. Um, we wanted to have a little more involvement than we did, but it just happened. And that's okay. That's okay. So it's a surprise what we get in other words. Well, it's it's very similar, very similar to last year. <laughs> so I'm sure they tried yeah, to keep it surprise. Like, oh, um, we have begonias. Yeah. Okay. And I, I said my piece on that. So okay. just so you guys Is know. it too late then to put in any special requests? Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. It's not too late to go to Clubbins. Well, let's go to right. Clubbins. <laughs> <not. laughs> you know, I find a way to get things done. If we can get something done, we will get it. So, you mean, like, like question kind donation? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so right. for, for future reference, for us to know if, if we wanted to make any suggestions, that should be really done in January? Yeah. So yeah. January. Right. That should be put on the yeah. January. I would maybe even before that. Box. Maybe even in the fall, oh, like at the fall. end of the season. Yeah. yeah. So what do we want to run next year? So, so. Um, it's something. It's a good idea. Okay. It's a good idea. So for suggestions. So fall, we'll, let's fall, see fall, how we go. Yeah. I, I'm I'm sure. We'll you know, she knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. she right. does. She, 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 there will be pretty good. flowers there. Yes, I, I, I think she's great. Only a little disappointed last year with a few that we had requested that we didn't get. Right. And I'm hoping that as far as the, the things that we get are more stuff in stock, I would hope this year as opposed to last year, but mm -hmm. I just, I don't know, we're working on it. Um, again, I know it will look beautiful, but addendums, new ideas for it, or things we might be able to do midstream, certainly work. Okay, so uh, just a question, um, is some percentage perennials, and then yes. you get annuals each year? There are, there are, and it'd be really fun to take yeah, right now, there's some see, but later on. There are good perennials, but there's areas where you want the burst of color, but you get yes. perennials. Yes, right now. So, okay. it's in the works. And, and Anne has worked the gardens, mm -hmm. so she yes. is much more. Yes, my first job. Yeah, you, you need to be the one was, to lead that tour of the garden. That was, that was our goal, was to have, get Anne involved mm -hmm. um, without Kathy being available, and we just missed the boat. And yeah. again, there was a little miscommunication from from their end to ours, and that's okay. That's the world. It's, uh, it'll, it's yeah. gonna look great. Yeah. And it'll, it'll continue yeah. to improve. Well, for, with that up, when is the uh, fountain scheduled to be serviced, you know, uncovered and serviced? Um, I would think that, well, uh -oh. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know specifically, but all of our stuff that's external would be um, mid April. May. I was gonna say, on. Who, March is still a freeze. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. need to do it now. Oh, I, so no, it, it'd be, I really need to We open up our bathrooms the first week of April. Okay. Um, no, I was a second week of April. April. So, yeah. starting around then, I don't know the exact time, yeah. but I'm sure I'm sure it's on. Okay. Just yeah. being as Kathy's not here, that might, you know, slip away because I think yeah, we'll, we want to make sure we get all that done. That's a joint effort. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be and on. I have one other thing that's oh. going on. Other business if it's okay. Sure, we're that's okay. Bring it up now because we're at love. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So in, in talking, in my communication with Eric Mason about just asking how do I, is it okay to include photos courtesy of 
the person's name when we have a photo provided, like, you know, what we did recently, and, and just include her name instead of um, photo, you know, courtesy of Lama Museum, where that's applicable, photo courtesy of Lama Times Call, where that's applicable, but when it's an individual, um, a prior house um, manager providing a, a photo, do we state photo courtesy of in that person? He said, yeah, I think that's an excellent idea. Um, and the same uh, message to him, I, just said, I also said, hey, on another note, um, how are things going when planning your 2023 historic third avenue rock walking tours and mm -hmm. have you picked some dates and he said yes i have tentative dates for the spring walking tours so wednesday june 14th at 10 a.m tuesday june 20th at 10 a.m say that one more time june what? 20th at 10 a.m and thursday june 22nd at 5 30 p.m. Now do you what side are these east side west side it's called it's it's called the third the historic third avenue tour okay, so it'll be up and down these houses. but what he does do is he starts here at the Callahan house and he goes west on the third and so that's why he incorporates um, the house in that tour not rather than the east side tour but, um, yeah. And where's the sign up for this? The museum does their own right. uh, registration process and those sell out like hotcakes. Do they, you know, so just do the gardens or do they actually come into the house? They, they now come into the house they because they the previously house. came wow. into just the gardens. And then right. I'm working in the archives and lots of talking with Derek. I'm like, you know, I know lots of people. I've been on your tours. I know lots of people are like, oh, I'd love to go into the house. Mm -hmm. And then I said, would you like to? Bring them into the Callahan house? And he got a big old brand, and I was like, yes, that would be nice. So wow. He said, hey, if, if I can have just a little bit of time, so I, I can't have my, my whole tour on. I said, no, 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 but if, if we can arrange at the house to open the house so that you can but bring it's them not in. Not but we started house. doing it. It's, it's just not people on the tour. It's yeah. just people on the tour. He, he usually has, I don't know, I think it's like 10, 10 to 15 okay, people so on his right. tour. So and so, um, Jacqueline or Betsy would need to be here just to um, um, help allow them in. Um, and, um, and then he does the speaking. And, well, he can speak, or, or Jacqueline or, or Betsy whoever. Or, or whoever can, yeah, can speak. speak. Just, it's okay, very we just hand them one of these. But we we, we can read. certainly hand them that too, but it is win win win. It's good for the house because it, it allows the community to come in on this very brief little historic tour that the museum has organized yeah. the museum you know has yeah. the is this something to expand that tour a little bit by allowing somebody to have, have them come into the a historic house the end of Calhoun house and then um, the community gets a win because it, it's a time that is very it's very short it's very brief but it's a time to come in and have a little tour around the house and, and then move on with the rest of the historic tour by here. Is this something that um, community information we want to put on the email blast? So no. people are aware no, of no, it's no. a limited no, 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 no. This is all just, uh, this is run by the museum. Okay. We're just included in his um, <coughs> historic <coughs> Third <coughs> Avenue walking tour. And we don't stay need to out of any it. more interest. And, <laughs> and, 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 and we just, here, we just make the house but, available because it's, it's it's great. It, it's on two parts of the city. It's the mm -hmm. Allen House and the museum, mm -hmm. and then for the community, everybody yeah, has the, the, the thing is, that. I didn't know where to sign up for it. The so, so the museum. So this is information that we could verbally share with people, though. Sure. Um, I think if we it's yes, in we the summer could. brochure mm -hmm. um, that's going to be directing all the households and lawn. That's exactly um, the April summer brochure. The first week in April. Okay. So Thank it is in there on the museum. Page. How long is it? Like ten minutes? That they're in the yeah, house? ten fifteen minutes okay. max. Um, okay. It is, just it is having just a five thirty brief. one. You know, if we have to pay someone to be here. Or um, is it five thirty or five? At five thirty. That's right. The Thursday, June twenty second is five thirty. Isn't that something that Eric could arrange though? Um, he normally, once I got he and Kathy connected, he normally would he would communicate with me and Kathy, but he would coordinate with Kathy, right. and Kathy would be here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, I have that information. Okay. But, I mean, if you need a little extra help, it's 
That's on video. <laughs> but I guess I'm Simone. If you need, if you need an extra <coughs> help or something, let me know. Okay. And I'll be supportive and helpful in any way. So. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Yeah. Does anybody else have anything else you want to bring up in the future business? For, if we can um, for, put on a future agenda items, um, um, our walk. Yes. What did you say? Our walk. Our walk. The future yeah, agenda we'll items. It's, it's a way it's out, September but one, but yeah. it's definitely one that we should be oh, talking it's about. Probably it's an open in, house too. So. Probably in May, and again, it's a matter of. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Can we put that on the agenda? Yeah. When you, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else? Um, can I get a motion to adjourn? I move we adjourn. I'll second. Can we time this? I'll uh, let them all three. And uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs>